All right, let's go, guys, and get it going here. You can see, got plenty of them. We got four wheel drive for you. I can tell you a little bit of understeer there. It looks like the traction control is coming on, but. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Peter's Auto Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to get to review this 2023 Ford Bronco Sport Outer Banks. Of course, this model was introduced in 2021, brand new Bronco Sport out of the new Ford Escape that was redone for 2020. Oh, now, this uh, one that we have here with us, as I mentioned, is called in a red, red, uh, hot pepper red, which is a fantastic color, really does it well with the lines. Obviously, you got the white lettering, the Bronco Sport, as we come around of this Bronco here. Really cool what the Ford has done. Red, this one's got the really nice, sallow uh, interior brown, which is really cool color. We'll take a look at it in a few moments. Now, as I mentioned, this is the Outer Banks model. That's kind of like a mid tier segment, of course considering all this, this the, the available uh, sport bronco sport that the ford has of course you got the top tier balance models you got also the base model you got the heritage model as well for 2023 really had, really has not much has changed for for the bronco sport uh the only thing that ford introduced this year is basically the heritage models which gives you the white wheels the blue the blue colors a more heritage edition theme which is really really cool or of course there's a the smaller one and a higher trim one depending on which model you get but both, those are basically the changes for the 2023 everything else is kind of can carry over now of course this one here is powered by the 1.5 liter three cylinder engine of turbocharged you can see here in the front we have all kinds of led lighting for the headlights of course for daytime running lights we also have some led fog lights here of course you got the bronco name here in the front with the white lettering we got the black out grill of course those change depending on the model depending on the trim but uh, this one here in the bronco in the outer bank looks really really cool now of course this paint looks does it well and this one is combined with the uh, dark painted or the gloss painted top as well which is another option i think it's about $500 option of course you can see the roof rails and this one does not have a sunroof but you can also option off one as well uh, you can see guys this has got the uh, really nice 18 inch wheels that are included with this model these are wrapped around 225 millimeter michelin primacy all season tires now of course as just i mentioned this has got the all-wheel drive system that is uh you know it's very capable it's not the same thing as the ford escapes all-wheel drive system this is a much more different system of course this is four-wheel drive instead of all-wheel drive there's a little bit different there as well but uh this has got definitely much more off-road capability than a regular safe for escape and of course if you go to the balance models you get a little higher in suspension a little bit tougher shocks and also the lock and rear uh, with a two liter motor as well if you go to the balance model but this one here this one here the outer bank is a really cool model more of a kind of mid-base you're looking at about 35 grand of msrp where they start off and this one here is stickered off at just over forty one thousand dollars as we'll look at the sticker in just a few moments so coming here to the back of this bronco but before we open up the tailgate let's take a look at the key here so we have the key we got open close we got remote start and of course panic and it's kind of the same type of uh, key that we have in you know, basically all the forts now, of course this one, this one does not have any type of remote opening for the rear doors basically you have to go and open up the hover but of course here we have two options of course you can just do it here and just open up the whole door and you can bring up the whole hatch or if we bring this down you can just go ahead and open up just a part of the glass here just the same as if in the ford expedition you can just bring up the glass portion here uh, which is awesome it's just easy to take out some bags and then you don't have to open up the whole hatch or just if you're camping you just kind of air out the back a little bit which is a really cool option that they have and especially in a smaller suv like All this right, so let's Hello, open up the whole clutch here and bring this up here so you can see there we go so there we go it's a pretty good size since this is more of a square kind of uh suv the smallest suv so you still got about 29 cubic feet of storage space here in the back and as you can see this one's here is popping off with a little table in the back which is really cool of course you can bring that in there you got also some more legs here as you can see to bring down a uh, really cool option of what the ford bronco sport gives and all this type of options so it's basically done for you know for the outdoor living of course here you got also some lights here as well they got a little bit here for some lights here there's some led lights that you can light up here especially for camping that's just kind of what it, this uh, bronco sports made up to take off off-road camping you know go to your favorite lake or favorite mountain which is really cool that's a really cool option of course you got those lights here we got some more hooks of course you can put the table up and take it out we got some more lighting here in the bottom we got some formats here as well as you can see here at the bottom 
We do have a full size spare tire as well, as you can see they're not the same tire, but obviously we get a full size spare, which is really great to have, especially if you're going off road. Of course, we get here a 12 volt connection. We got some more hooks as well, and that's about it. We got plenty of room here, plenty of stuff to do, and I think it'd be awesome to take one of these. There's a lot of options you can do to maybe create a tent around here and all that kind of stuff for this uh, Bronco Sports. A lot of great options that Ford has given you, but also plenty, plenty, of, plenty of room and space for every day. So let's go ahead, guys, and bring this down. As you can see, when it's on here, we do have a reverse camera as well and uh but there we go all right coming up here awesome. to the hood let's go ahead and check out the 1.5 liter engine of course this just comes up we're gonna just take a little, little stick here as we have no hydraulics assistance you just take that in it's a little hot so here we have the 1.5 liter three cylinder engine this is producing 181 horsepower 190 pound feet of torque of course this is going to the all-wheel drive system that this has to an eight-speed automatic transmission now fuel mileage on this one is about 25 miles per gallon in the city 28 in the highway of course that depends how you drop it some reports i've done near get about a little over 30 miles combined if you drive it normally of course depending how you drive a lot of people drive crazy today but overall pretty good engine especially pretty good torque for every day obviously you can also do the two liter engine as well but you have to go to the balance model to get that engine of course i give you over 250 horsepower power uh, i would rather prefer that engine since i'm kind of dreaming one of those but this is still a perfect engine for every day but overall a great little engine fantastic uh, plenty of torque and fleet efficiency as well so all right let's go ahead and bring the hood down and put the little stick back in this place and there we go and before we get inside let's go ahead and check out this tire and wheel come on as you can see we have this on this bronco sport now of course this one being the outer bank this one's got the 18 inch wheel, which is really nice aluminum wheel with some black interior accents really really nice wheel i think one of the nice ones that they have of course these are michelin uh these are 225 millimeter michelin primacy all season tires that come with this model now of course if you go to the balance models you get more off-road tires especially with a higher suspension but this so is checking really out nice the interior tire. of this bronco sport as you can see this is kind of really cool interior i love this combination this is called basically roast leather or roast leather interior put on the, the name on the on the uh on the screen for you guys really a combination of a bit of bronze and brown leather with some gray inserts as well and black inserts as well these are done in, in, in a bit of cloth and a bit of uh, leather here as well really really cool interior as you can see guys really awesome what Ford has done let's go ahead and uh, get inside and check out the room it's a little tight back here so the seat is a little further back than I think as you can see guys I'm pretty tight back here not much room if, if anything else there's plenty of headroom as well because you can see that this kind of goes up here in the back which really helps out with the headroom the seats feel really nice as you can see guys we got some side pockets here as you can see we got extra seats it's a more storage here which is really awesome love the stitching on that there we got some it's kind of interesting things you can put here for storage of course you can hear in the back we got two ac outlets we do have it house 110 volt connection and we have two usc two usb outlets here so well some more plug in here on the side really really cool what has done ford has done in terms of the interior color now of course this is more an upscale color uh interior uh, but it's still really cool you can also get an optional sunroof as well depending on the model uh here we have a center armrest as well here with some cup holders so really really cool what ford has done here to this interior of this ford bronco sport you can see all the copper here kind of brownish but looks more like a copper really look look that i love the texture of the side here really really cool what that feels like pretty hard plastic here as well but you have also some soft leather here for where you put your elbows plenty of headroom really small it is a little small in, in terms of um a leg room i don't think this is this don't this don't adjust like the ford escape sponge which you can definitely adjust the uh the four and a half but this one does not adjust but uh all right let's go ahead guys and get to the front cool. of course you got leather a little more i really love the texture here of this real feels really cool of course you got that kind of crop kind of uh, bronze here really cool of course you got window controls here mirrors and of course you got some also some memory seats as well so for your 10 way power seats uh we got also the bronco sport embroidered into that but uh, let's go guys let's get inside because we got a little bit of rain coming but down so it's really there. awesome interior the way this has ford has done this obviously this dash layout is quite different than the ford escapes as you can see uh more looks like more like a 40.50 kind of ish mix of that mix of that and the uh, ford escape let's go ahead guys and uh, get this thing turned on so we get some ac flowing got some cool graphics here as well and also that pop up on certain times here when you're uh starting this for Bronco Sport. As you can see, guys, here we got an eight-inch screen, the, the three sync three, and we get a six and a half inch screen here as well for for the, all the information. Cool the way this is. I really love the texture of this of the um, of the dash. Really, really cool. Of course, you have the glove box, which got plenty of space there. As you can see, we got this copper material, which is really nice, a copper colored, really cool with a pocket here as well to put your phone in things. Come down here, guys. Just checking it out. We got a lot more storage here on the bottom. We got also, as you can see, we got a wireless charging pad as well. We got two USB connections. 12 volt a little more space here as you can see now this basically this charging pad comes with the technology package that this that's uh this for the uh, this for bronco sport has 
course, we got a couple of, as you can see, got my water. We got your eight-speed automatic transmission. We got your parking brake here. We got your automatic hold on. And of course, we got your modes here, your go modes for go over any terrain. That's what basically that stands for. We got the car, we'll go in a few moments. Here in the center armrest, we got some more leather. If we go down here, we got USB connections, a little more much storage space as well. So you got plenty of connections here in this really interior. Uh, coming here to the steering wheel, of course, this is adjustable fore and aft. And uh, they've got a little bit of uh, piano trim here in the bottom. Uh, coming here, guys, we do have the dual Sony AC. We do have uh, also heated seats and heated steering wheel as part of this package. And of course, here we got to this screen here, which is an eight inch sync three system here that they're still putting on this uh, Bronco Sports. I'm sure they're gonna get an update and gonna bring in just like the Ford Escape for 2023, a bigger screen and a basically sync four that's coming in. But this is still sync three. We've got plenty of good here. So as you can see, guys, we have navigation. It's really cool. We got audio, we got all kinds of settings. It's a little bit slow to the touch there. But as you can see, we got your apps, we got settings, we got all kinds of things. I believe this also might have some light ambient lighting as well. Uh, and the audio here, since this is equipped with the technology package, you get a 10 speaker bag and also stereo, which sounds pretty good. Let's hear it out. Pretty good sounding stereo, if I may say so. Uh, of course, here you got your AC bench, kind of really nice shape because we got a start stop button here. Uh, coming here to the steering wheel, it's a nice leather cover steering wheel, which is really nice on your fingertips. We got all the buttons here for your cruise control and information here for your screen. Now, of course, here we got this six and a half inch screen that shows you all kinds of information, tire pressure. I'm sure you got also off-road uh, different manners you can do. Uh, let's go back to the menu. As you can see, guys, we got all kind of great navigation, select screens, all kind of great things you can do to this uh navigation here and all that kind of stuff of course we got analog tachometer and speedometer and of course you got your gas station and all that stuff here we got your wiper sound over here no uh back pedals for this transmission here nothing at all here in the back but also really really nice interior as i mentioned we do have all the windows are power and all the windows are one touch as well up and down which is a great feature to have um but i really really like that but overall a really nice interior what ford has given you here uh, in terms of the way everything is uh, laid out you know you got plenty of uh amenities here as well of course you got also a 4g uh wi-fi wi -Fi hotspot of course you got apple amp apple carplay android auto all those great things as well that you can do it's a really good really nice interior to this bronco sport as you can see of course we got some glass holders here we got lights as well and as i mentioned you can also option off a a sunroof on this one as well and of course you get home link as well here with your mirrors and all that kind of stuff i don't like this uh this is in white color this might get dirty because i mean i have one in my ford escape and that gets really really dirty easily especially with time but overall a great little interior feels well put together some of the mix of materials of course some of them are hard plastic but all your touch points here are really nice i really love the way all this is and of course remember this is kind of off-road focus so it's kind of have that kind of uh, sense of easy cleaning if you go off-road and all that kind of stuff so all right let's go guys and get it going here because they got plenty of now we got four wheel drive for you i can tell you a little bit of understeer there the, the, the traction control is coming on but uh, not a huge fan of this engine, but it does go pretty decently well. Obviously, that's along with me here, but uh, yeah, it does feel that pretty good. Now, this tire is obviously be running on uh, pretty decently wet roads, and this tire feel pretty good. You know, they, they feel pretty comfortable. We're doing about 55. Obviously, you gotta be careful with some hydroplaning here, but they feel pretty good in the rain. It's a brand new Michelin, uh, no Michelin, yeah, Michelin Primacy tires for all season. They feel pretty good. Let's check out the brakes here. So we got nobody in the back. Yeah, the brakes are pretty good. Now like everything's slow down here. But uh, the brakes are pretty pretty good, pretty strong brakes as well. Uh, but man, this is a really good feeling SUV to be honest. Especially in these conditions as well. So let me know what you guys think of this Bronco Sport. If you guys like it. I apologize if there's some rain noise in the but obviously this can you see this rain there's no all the way of having it here it's part of uh, this time in florida but let me know what you guys think of this bronco sport if you like this type of content guys i appreciate it thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed i apologize i've been absent for about a month i i moved out of my house and obviously get into a new area of orlando uh and uh but obviously uh you know just been pretty busy with me this past few weeks having you know, having a chance to to get back in the game here but i'll be back here definitely doing some more videos and definitely putting a lot more content for you guys very very soon but uh, overall fantastic SUV uh, confidence of four-wheel drive especially in this type of weather 
uh, you know, I don't know if you're gonna need this type of all-wheel drive in Florida, but obviously if you got live in some sort of little small mountain area, this would be a perfect SUV to take, you know, some light off-roading. And if you want to go heavier off-roading, of course you gotta get the, the Badland model. But this is a fantastic little SUV to be honest. I really like it. And uh, let me know what you guys think of this Bronco Sport Outer Banks. Now guys, a big thank you again to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Bronco Sport. I really appreciate that to them. So let me know what you guys think of this Bronco Sport. Uh, for $42,000, it's not a bad, I mean, it's pretty good. Plenty of SUV, I think, for every day. Uh, for me, I would really option off the two liter engine. This for me, it's much a much better engine, for more and more torque, more power. Yes, it sucks up a little more gas. But still, this is not, this is uh, this is this is still a plenty of really nice SUV, and especially for the price. So, all right, guys, we're just bring the uh, thing to, to park, and that conclusion, fantastic SUV, guys, and uh, plenty of plenty of SUV for the money. I mean, forty two is not the jump change, but obviously it's up uh, for all you get. The special interior, you know, all kinds of technology. It's not a bad package overall. So, thanks so very much, guys, for watching. I appreciate you one of you that subscribed, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.